Hello Internet, I was asked if I could show how to model the OD central library of Helsinki in Archicad and yes I could do this and um, basically it's possible without using any add-ons or extra software you can just do this in Archicad it's um, not that easy to be honest but um, we will work a lot with the shell tool and also with the Fazar tool so as you can see on the pictures here it has a couple of difficulties first of all yeah the um, shape here of the balcony and this um, yeah entrance area here, which is totally let's say amorph or organic shaped and we can do this with the shell tool and we will cut a hole into this part here and then we add our facade and um, without any further to do let's begin as you can see i prepared a little bit um, it's just basic lines and uh, circle or an arc whatever um, everything in 2d and um, that's because i don't have the exact measurements or the exact size of the building and i just assumed it's um well now archicad is gone i just assumed this is 70 meters long and maybe 10 meters high and with 10 meters I mean only the part here and that will be a different part and um, I divided it into four equal parts so I just need the knot points here for the shell later and you will see we start using the shell tool we will find that here and we need the third geometry method which is called ruled and we need the first construction method which is called simple so we, you can only draw this in a floor plan and we just redraw this rectangle and it's quite important that we first draw the big line or the long line and not the short side here um, you will see what I mean if we now switch into 3d because it looks something like this and don't worry or don't wonder it always looks like this it automatically has one flat side and one with an arc and um, we can eliminate this arc by clicking on it and say we want to insert a new node or a new point and now it's totally flat it looks like yeah maybe a wall which is uh, turned around uh, 90 degrees or maybe um, like a like a slab but it's a shell and the shell has the big advantage that you can create as much points on the blue lines here which are our guidelines or construction lines uh, as you like and you can turn them in all three directions that's the cool thing about the more uh, not the morph about the shell so first step is to turn this by 90 degrees so it will stand like a wall and then i switch into the ground floor and then we'll pull this line to this point the reason why is i have my auxiliary line here and i click on it and what i see here is the blue line the construction line or guideline and um, because i look on top of this that's the one of the top when i add points here and i will do this right now at one add two and add three points and when i drag these points away I can still see a construction line and this will be the bottom one and also the bottom one we can actually add two points that should be enough for our purposes or okay let's uh, stick with three then we have more opportunities and in 3d it will look something like this not too bad and for a reason I switch to how's it called paired the morphing rule to paired and not to smooth um, you will see later why in this case it's it's just better I cannot explain why it's just um, case dependent and I will round up these corners here so I can click on these points and go on fillet and chamber and um, choose fillet which rounds up the points and let's say this should be six meters and these points um, should be have a really really long radius for example 
let's um, try with 50 meters could also be more but let's say it's okay all right this pretty much looks like our balcony here as I said I don't have the exact measurements but let's just assume it's pretty much close to it all right and we keep on going we go back into our ground floor and I drag this point here up to I don't know really 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 far away because and let's take a look at the picture again as you can see it goes inside and then it turns from the outer shell to the ceiling inside and that's why I put this so much away or so far away because I will cut it later and then this could also be a part of the ceiling and um, yeah let's round this up too go on fill it in chamber again and yeah, it just tells me a maximum 18 and that's um, telling me I should choose a really small radius for example 3 yes and it will look something like this and that's pretty much wrong because I choose the wrong side <laughs> okay let's do it again put it downwards and now choose the radius three and we're done so that's how it should look like see this will be our entrance level and this is our balcony later we will draw a slab on top so this you won't see this here anymore and that's it so far with the shell and the next step we add a couple of walls and we cut this shell in parts so when our balcony is here we have to draw the walls to the direction here and make sure it has pretty much the same settings as our shell has so it's uh, 30 centimeters in this case and it's just general construction part or bearing construction part so that's exactly the same and let's say 20 meters and then if everything's correct 70 meters should be correct and close it here and then it should look like this so i will tear this down using just the drag order and I will select the three walls and put them a little bit higher so they have the same level. So we have our walls, but we need to cut this part away. And that's actually quite simple. So we could use a morph and uh, cut it away using a solid element operation, but it's way easier because we can just click on it, right click anywhere and just say create hole in a shell and we draw the hole and the hole is just bigger than this part here and it will be deleted automatically. We still see the contour lines, which are now theoretically there, but as you can see, they are not there and also because I have chosen the points from the lower guideline to be somewhere here it still can be the ceiling inside so another thing I just see is that these points here are actually also round so let's click on them again choose a radius of maybe yeah two looks good and the shell right now is pretty much completely done. 